Hey, Jake's Lego Corner here with my custom Lego minifigure showcase for the Tales of the Empire miniseries on Disney+. Plus. Here we have Morgan Elspeth, who is just the same one from the Ahsoka sets, specifically the set with uh, Balin, Skull, Shin Hattie, the Shin Hattie Starfighter, and the Ewing. And the only thing that I've added is I gave her her best scar spear from this Tales of the Empire and Mandalorian Season 2. Here we have General Grievous, who is the 2012 variant, I think. It's the beige one instead of the white one, but the white one could work as well. I just feel like this one's more accurate. I would have given him his two extra arms, but one of mine is broken. So I thought it would be weird if he only had three of his four arms. He has two light bars. I gave him one green and one blue because that's what he uses in this show. Otherwise, he's just the normal General Grievous. Here we have Theron. And to build him, I used this Imperial Captain's outfit. A black slick back hair from Moff Gideon in the Imperial Light Cruiser. Or, or at least that's what it comes in. You can probably get it in City as well. I don't have the Light Cruiser. I just thought that that would be a good person to list as who has it. Also, I got this one specifically from General Zod from Superman. Man of Steel, sorry. And the legs are from Batman from Batman v Superman. And finally the face is from Hydro Man from Spider-Man no Far From Home. And finally from the Morgan Elspeth set of shorts, we have a New Republic officer. Or soldier, whatever they are called. And to build her, I have her using... The legs and torso from one of these 2019 space jumpsuits. Just the torso is flipped around. It's the same one I've been using on my Cyclops minifigures. The hands are white from a Imperial, not Imperial, from a Rebellion X Wing pilot. This face is from an Imperial like tech person. Don't know what they're called. And this helmet's from a rebel officer. Moving on to the Barris Afi side of shorts, we have Barris Afi in her Inquisitor outfit. And to build it, I used the legs from the Dark Troop bars. This torso is from an Imperial Tech person. Shoulder pads are from a skeleton in Ninjago. The face belongs to Barris Afi. But I think the 2012 Clone Wars Barasafi, the hair piece is from Lego City and Harry Potter. And then I just used the Inquisitor lightsaber piece from the show Rebels and the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV series. Here we have the Grand Inquisitor, who is just in his outfit from, from the Kenobi series. I have not changed anything. I'm glad I own this figure though. I also am happy to have that ship because it appears in these shorts. I think it appears in two of the six. It also did appear in the Kenobi show. But yeah, nothing is uh, changed on this figure. Like the Grand Inquisitor, nothing has changed on this Darth Vader either. I just thought it would be a neat thing to add him, seeing he does appear in the shorts. Unfortunately, I do not own any of the newer version of Darth Vader's. I only own this style. So, I would recommend using the brand new one with like the two-piece helmet. But, unfortunately, I don't own one of them. I might have to buy the Darth Vader mech just to get my hands on him. That one, or I might buy the TIE Bomber if that is still available because that is a nice set. But yeah, if you're doing a Tales of the 
Empire thing. Definitely include Darth Vader as he does appear. Here we have one of the Inquisitors, which appears in the scene with Darth Vader and the other Inquisitors. I forget which brother he is, but it's the same one that appeared in the Tales of the Jedi series, where he fights Ahsoka. To build him, I used the torso and legs from an Imperial a First Order gun technician. The hood is from Mandalorian Season 2 Luke Skywalker. The cape is also from that Luke Skywalker. And the face is from the Mighty Micro's Bane, which is a DC minifigure. And finally, we have two bland clones. On the left is a normal clone, and on the right is a Coruscant Guard. These can be found in the 2024 Clone Troop Bar and Battle Droid Battle Pack. I just thought it would be neat to include them, seeing they do appear in this, this short. Anyways, that's it for the figures. Anyways, that's it for my uh, minifigure showcase. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And may the 4th be with you.